we've been in the situation before where we've had to solve a question where we've got the circumference we need to find and we have the radius as 4.6 centimeters. We would do that by saying, well, circumference is equal to 2 pi r and then we would just go through with those steps 2 times pi times 4.6 equals and then we would have a look at our calculator and we would go 2 times pi times 4.6 and our answer would come out to be 28 point what was it again 28.9 and you've done those and so you're pretty good at that so that would be 29.9 centimeters what would we do if we had to do it the other way around here's a question it says using a circumference determine correct to one decimal place the diameter and the radius of each circle. Alright, well let's start with this one. Let's try this example here. We have a circle. We have a circle. And the circumference all the way around is 15 centimeters. And we're asking us to find the radius, sorry, the diameter and the radius. So how do we do that? Well, we know that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. That's fair enough. So we know that 15 then is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. So let's just uh, multiply what we do know. We know what 2 times pi is, so we're just going to find out what that is. Uh, clear this. 2 times pi is equal to 6.28, let's say 6.3. Okay. Equals 6.3 times the radius. So 15 is equal to 6.3 times the radius. Now what we need to do, because 2 and pi are just numbers, we need to get rid of this 6.3 because we want to find the radius. So what we're going to do is we are going to divide both sides by 6.3. Why do we divide? Because at the moment it's being multiplied. And whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 6.3. Now 6.3 divided by 6.3 is 1. And you end up with 1 times rate r. And then we're going to do divide this side by 6.3. Let's find out what that comes to be like. Okay, 15 divided by 6.3 and it comes out to be 2.38, let's say 2.4. So 2.4 is equal to 1 times the radius or just the radius so we could just say just the radius so we could say 2.4 centimeters equals the radius but what about the diameter well the diameter we all know the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius so what we're going to do is fix that screen up a bit and we're just going to say well D equals 2 times R therefore D is equal to 2 times 2.4 and that's going to be equal to 4.8 centimeters and that's our answer